Thousands are evacuated as Mayan Volcano unleashes its most dangerous warning signals in years. In just 24 hours, scientists recorded more than 50 pyroclastic flows barreling down its slopes, more than in entire previous months combined. Behind this escalating activity lies a hidden danger. Mayan's iconic steep cone turns acceleration into disaster. Are these warning signs still under control? Or has something far more dangerous already begun? 53 pyroclastic density currents, violent ground-hugging surges of ash, gas, and volcanic debris have swept down Mayan slopes in just a single day. That number is not a typo. It is a record for this phase of unrest. 47 rock falls were also logged in a single 24-hour period, shattering previous daily highs and overwhelming the sensors that ring the volcano. Just three months earlier, during a quieter stretch in October 2023, the total number of pyroclastic density currents for an entire month barely reached double digits. Now that level of activity is compressed into hours, not weeks. Five Volks monitoring stations positioned along the flanks and near the summit have documented this abrupt surge. Rockfall counts jumped from an average of three to over 16 per day in December 2023, then spiked to 47 by the end of the month. The transition has been relentless. In November, the monthly average for pyroclastic density currents hovered around one per day. By early January, daily counts have soared, with some days matching the totals of entire previous months. Each event is a warning, but it is the frequency, the relentless accelerating rhythm that has scientists on edge. The numbers tell a stark story. Mayan is not simply active, it is accelerating each surge more intense and more frequent than the last. This is not the usual pattern of unrest. It is a rapid escalation, and the consequences of this acceleration are still unfolding. Mayon's perfect cone is more than a postcard image. It is a warning built into the landscape. The volcano rises with slopes that tip at nearly 35 degrees, far steeper than most stratovolcanoes. This geometry is not just beautiful. It is what makes Mayon so deadly. Thick, Viscous lava does not flow easily down such steep sides. Instead, it piles up at the summit, forming unstable domes that can loom for weeks before collapsing without warning. When these domes give way, gravity does the rest. Blocks of solidified lava and superheated debris break loose, racing down the flanks at speeds that can reach dozens of meters per second. In June and July of 2023, Pyroclastic flows triggered by dome collapse surged as far as 600 meters down the southern and eastern gullies. Even a small increase in dome size or a minor shift in pressure can tip the balance, unleashing currents of ash, gas, and rock that hug the ground and incinerate everything in their path. The process can accelerate with almost no additional notice. Scientists at the University of the Philippines National Institute of Geological Sciences say this combination of steep slopes and sticky lava is a recipe for repeated disaster. The very shape that draws visitors from around the world is the same shape that funnels lethal flows toward communities on the lower slopes. Each time the dome grows, the risk of collapse and a sudden deadly surge rises with it. For Mayan, iconic beauty and extreme hazard are inseparable. Scientists monitor the dome, the lava, and the slope stability. Warning signals and escalating activity increase the high probability of hazardous collapse and raise the prospect of worst case scenarios for people living on the lower flanks. The volcano's geometry ensures that when warning signals accelerate, consequences can become catastrophic in an instant. On January 6, 2026, at 1226 Coordinated Universal Time, a sudden collapse of Mayan's summit lava dome unleashed a pyroclastic density current that swept nearly two kilometers down the Bonga drainage. Within minutes, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, known as FIVOLCS, raised Mayan's status to alert level three. This is not a routine advisory. This is a dangerous warning. Alert level three means the volcano is in a state of high unrest with a high probability of a hazardous eruption. The criteria are strict, persistent dome growth, frequent rock falls, and the onset of magmatic pyroclastic flows were all observed in rapid succession. The signs point to escalating activity. Under this protocol, evacuations within the six kilometer permanent danger zone are not just recommended, they are mandatory. Fivolk's authority is clear, no entry and no exceptions. 
The order is about saving lives, not convenience. Mandatory is the word. The decision follows days of relentless activity, with dome extrusion, crater incandescence, and surging rockfall counts converging in the hours before the alert. Scientists monitor earthquakes, ground dip base deformation, gas emissions, and thermal data in real time. They see a pattern of acceleration. It is not the activity alone, it is the acceleration. The collapse produced pyroclastic density currents that can travel at high speed and reach extreme temperatures. Once flows begin in a drainage, escape becomes impossible for anyone caught in their path. The combination of a steep cone, viscous lava, and an unstable growing dome makes Mayan uniquely deadly. These are warning signals taken with the utmost seriousness. FIVOLCS scientists stress that this time looks different. The data pipeline from sensors to policy is immediate, and the response is absolute. Evacuations must be swift, because worst-case scenarios include sustained pyroclastic flows and widespread devastation. The signals are there, the timeline is unknown, and Mayon is not finished. Scientists monitor Mayon's summit every hour, tracking a barrage of warning signals that now come in quick succession. On the night of January 5th, a faint red glow appeared at the crater, incandescence that signaled fresh lava pushing upward. This subtle glow is more than a visual cue. It is a sign of new magma reaching the surface, heating the dome from within and weakening its structure. By January 8th, surveillance cameras captured a pyroclastic density current racing down the southeastern flank. In the official words of 5OLCS, pyroclastic density currents are fast moving, ground hugging currents of hot gas, ash, and volcanic debris, and they represent one of the most dangerous hazards at Mayon. Thermal imaging shows temperatures in these flows can exceed 700 degrees Celsius. Once a pyroclastic density current begins, escape is impossible. The currents move at speeds that can overtake a running person in seconds, hugging the slopes and incinerating everything in their path. Seismic sensors around the volcano register each collapse as a sharp spike, while visual and thermal cameras confirm every surge. Scientists monitor these signals in real time. They monitor because these events increase the high probability of larger hazardous flows. These warning signals are part of escalating activity, and the danger is not abstract. It is immediate, measured in minutes and meters. In Albay, the numbers are more than statistics. They are families, forced from their homes, their lives on pause. As of 2026, 1,116 families, 4,092 people, have left everything behind seeking safety in 14 evacuation centers. These centers are spread across the most at-risk municipalities, Kamalig, Guinobatan, Legao, Malilipot, Tabaco, Daraga, Legazpi City, Bacacay, and Santo Domingo. Each shelter is a temporary solution, often a school or gymnasium now lined with mats and plastic sheeting. The basics, water, food, medicine, are stretched thin. Children share crowded spaces with elders, and the routines of daily life are replaced by waiting and uncertainty. For many, the decision to live so close to Mayan has always been tied to the land. The soil on these lower slopes is rich, renewed by past eruptions, and vital for crops like taro, chili, and vegetables. Generations have weighed the risks against the promise of a good harvest. Now, with the volcano's warning signals escalating, the cost of that decision is measured in displacement and fear. Even as officials enforce the six-kilometer permanent danger zone, some residents hesitate, torn between safety and the fields that feed their families. Evacuation is not just about leaving home, it is about leaving behind a way of life, with no guarantee of when or if they can return. In the shadow of Mayan's perfect cone, the memory of past eruptions never fades. In 1814, a violent outburst buried entire villages under volcanic debris and ash, claiming the lives of nearly 1,200 people. Archival records describe skies darkened for days, crops lost, and families forced to flee as superheated currents swept through the lowlands. Even in recent memory, the 2023 eruption followed a familiar pattern, warning signals, escalating activity, and families displaced in the path of danger. The rhythm of unrest repeats across generations, each cycle a reminder that Mayan's warning signals are not new, only newly urgent but there is one critical difference now. Ground deformation remains the most troubling signal. Since early 2024, 
Fivolk has tracked steady inflation on land's northwest and southeast flanks, with the mid-southeast showing pronounced uplift from August onward. GPS and electronic tilt meters confirm magma is pressing upward, distorting the volcano's slopes week by week. Scientists monitor these warning signals as evidence of escalating activity, and they say there is a high probability that hazardous conditions could occur in worst-case scenarios. The data offers no clear timeline, and no one can say when or if this pressure will break the surface. Evacuations persist with no set end date. The signals are there. The timeline is unknown, and Mayon is not finished. Right now, over 49 communities remain displaced as Mayon's warning signals intensify. Scientists can measure magma pressure, but they cannot predict its breaking point. The uncertainty is not just scientific, it is lived daily by thousands. Nature's timeline is silent. Our readiness is the only variable we can control.